This past month, the A34500 was used by just one airline, Azerbaijan Airlines from Baku to Moscow Domodedovo. With the aircraft's retirement from this route, there are currently no more scheduled routes being flown by the aircraft. The type has never been popular because of its niche role, and it's now all but extinct in a commercial sense. For most of this month, the A34500 was the world's least used passenger widebody still in commercial service. This was the result of only one remaining active aircraft, registered 4 Kilo Alpha Zulu 85, and was operated by Azal Azerbaijan Airlines. A second jet, 4 Kilo Alpha Zulu 86, is parked. Azal had been deploying the sole remaining active A34500 on just the one route from Baku to Moscow Domodedovo. Operating twice weekly, the A340 was recently retired, replaced by the B767300ER. The 767 will then be replaced by the A320CO. The A34500 entered service 18 years ago in 2003. The purpose was clear and logical to have the longest flight envelope of any wide-body commercial aircraft. At the time, its four engines were key, allowing exemption from restrictive ETOPS legislation. This all meant one thing, at least in theory. New ultra-long-haul routes could be operated non-stop. Singapore Airlines led the way, with services between Singapore and Los Angeles and Singapore to Newark in 2004. Yet the A34500 has never been a popular aircraft. This is because of its very niche role, which meant that demand for the type was minimal. Ultra-long-haul trips are enormously hard to make work in the best times, with low fuel prices and a strong economy. Using a gas-guzzling four-engine aircraft whose performance was in serious doubt presents even more challenges. Shortly after the A34500, a more cost-efficient ultra-long-haul twin the 777-200LR came about. This effectively ended the A34500 program for commercial airlines. Its role since then has become even more niche. Even in 2011, the A34500 had just a 0.52% share of all wide-body seats globally. Analyzing OAG data reveals that this had shrunk to just 0.01% in 2019, and now, in 2021, it had barely 3,000 seats by the type, all by Azal on this one route. The A34500 has had just 12.9 million scheduled seats since 2011 across six main airlines, as you can see here. In addition, a raft of other carriers use the aircraft on a short-term basis with wet lease operator HiFly. These include Norwegian, SAS, TAP Air Portugal, El Al, and Finnair. The latter used it from Helsinki to New York JFK. Norwegian, meanwhile, used it in two years, 2016 and 2018. In 2016, the type was used on routes from Helsinki, including Athens, Nice, Paris Orly, and Rome Fiumicino. Two years later, it was used from Barcelona to both Newark and Oakland. As the A34500's commercial service comes to an end, do you have any memories of the type? Doha-based Qatar Airlines never flew the Dash 500, although it did operate the A34600. Nonetheless, we do have some exciting news to share with you about the airline. After our highly successful webinar with Sir Tim Clark of Emirates, we're pleased to announce our second webinar with Qatar Airways CEO Akbar al Baka. We hope you can join us for the event. Sign up through the link in the description. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.